All right, what do we got here? Oh, it's Klaus. Oh, Lucas. What's wrong, buddy? Don't tell me this was after chapter one. Oh, yep, this is after chapter one. What am I saying? Oh, <laughs> I can't bear to watch him be this sad. He's like, what, seven, eight years old? He's going through all this pain? My god! My man's got a bigger brain than we all realized. He managed to defend the Dragos! Ah, oh, but some things just don't change, do they? Damn. Come on, Lucas. You're strong, I know this. Hey, what's up over here? Oh, shit! What's this glow up? Club Tidaboo. Dude, Lucas looks older now. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? An epic train ride. Hmm? Well, we've already had the epic pork bean ride, so... Three years later, Tasmili Village. Hold up! Whoa! Did Tasmili modernize? In three years, you guys managed to make all of this? What the actual? Uh, 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 no, 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 no! What's this cheap asshole doing there? This cheap bastard! To hell with you! This is Lucas. Three years later, eh? Wait a minute. We now have money. We now have. M is that what the DP stands for? We now have money in the game. Fuck! I I was actually kind of used to, and actually kind of liked having. Not to buy anything anymore. Easy grip stick, mini mini charm. Wow, that's quite a stick right there. My god. Plus 15 offense. I still can't see if he has any skills. Even though I would assume he has PSI powers because he has PSI power points. Alright. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Uh, fine. Well, where where are my where's my clothes? Is it over here? Class's shoes and the scrap of cloth from Hanawa's just. Oh. <laughs> Is Class still not home? Even now, there are two pillows side by side. Did we never find Klaus? It's been three years. What the hell? Okay, finally. I was actually really confused as to where the hell I needed to get my clothes from. Aww. Why do you have to make this so hard, game? My man Lucas lost his mother and his brother. At this... Practically at the same time. Where's Boney? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? What do we have over here? Well, why is there a pig mask guy over here? Lightning is scary. I got charred black. <laughs> why are you smiling about that though? Wild well, animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Why would you be smiling? I can't imagine what the shock of lightning would do to you. Pony! I could take you for a walk if you like, Lucas. Yes, sir! My boy Pony's back! It's been a good while, boy. I'm glad to have you back. Do you still have all your shit? Ah, uh, no, you don't. You just have a bunch of big jams. God damn it. Now, the real question is Hey, you! You there, boy! 
I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have a very important information to you. What I was going to say is I hope all the presents are at least, at the very least, restocked. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given in units called DP, Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw the DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations cannot conduct DP transactions though. Shall I explain all of that again? Alright, let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Yes, I would very much like to do that. I would like to save. But damn, we actually have money now. Fuck. As mentioned before, I, I very much would appreciate it if I didn't have the money because I was actually already pretty used to not using money. You're holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding out on using the bathroom too. I don't have anything. What are these pig mask guys doing here? So this is Tazmili's famous lightning house. It really is incredible. It was definitely worth coming all the way here to see it. What are you doing here? You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all this. What, does everyone in Tasmania now have a happy box? This simple atmosphere. The smell of livestock and sea breezes. This is the only part of Tasmania that hasn't changed a bit in the past three years. Oh, you're damn right, homebred here in Tasmili. Never gonna change now, are we? And there's no present here whatsoever. Shite. Oh, road. What the hell happened to my town? What the hell happened to my village? This isn't what I remember it to be like. Did you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Oh, huh, what? Am I talking about myself? No, of course not. I'm talking about Tazmeli. Thomas's shop offering fascinating big city items faster and in greater quantities than anyone else. Things are different now. Don't forget to bring DP. You have doors that open automatically. Don't tell me you're Thomas. My dad is working over at the factory, so he left me in charge. Cool. Would you like to buy something? What can I buy? Ooh. I can finally buy some equipment. But still, I have to buy it. That's the problem. Man, I miss the old days where Thomas would just give me free shit. Oh, but that that's a problem right there. That's a problem that I see. Why do you have that thing over there? Why do you have that thing over there? Not in my village. Not in my village. Oh my god, is this Bronson's place? What the hell? What the hell happened to Bronson's place? This isn't what I remember. An oven for turning iron red hot. This is the very latest automated model. What the fuck? The happy box is giving off a wobbling sort of sound. Bro, I'm telling you, this happy box. It, 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 there's something about it. I'm pretty sure it's giving everyone... It's giving everyone AIDS. <laughs> it's giving everyone COVID. I'm, dude, I'm telling it's 5G. I mean, happy box. The Yado Inn had so much more warmth and friendliness up until three years ago. Oh my god, all the doors can open automatically now. The DC MC Ben has a bassist named Lucky. He seems a little bum like, but apparently he's a really good performer. You're the type that just has to talk to everyone, don't you? Aren't you? No, no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that's actually a very important thing to do. Yeah, right, bucko. You already gave me an attitude just by talking. I hear they used to raise cows and pigs where the training facility to the southeast is now. Mr. Facade brought, bought up all the land there. Dude. 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 Mr. Facade, what has he done to this Tasmania village? Don't tell me the people of Tasmania actually listen to him. Welcome. You're a non saying guest, yes? Can I hit the bell? Shit, I can't hit the bell. 
Our Yado Inn has changed so much and gained so many new customers ever since Mr. Facade came to town. They say this village had no happy boxes until three years ago. Oh no. Oh no. This hotel's poster girl is so cute. I wonder what her name is. I'm in a luxury hotel, but surprisingly enough, I'm not acting nervous. Have you noticed? It's because my back pocket's filled with money I earned at the factory. Factory, you say? I'm about to go on a walk with my grandkid to Sir Leon Beach. It'll be like old man on the beach and all that. Oh! -ho! <laughs> Grandpa and I are supposed to go to the beach after I change in my swimsuit. But I can't take my eyes off this happy box. <laughs> okay, two things that are wrong with that. One, I find it a little weird that somebody like you, very young from the looks of it, you look almost the size of Lucas, and if what I said is correct, Lucas was seven to, seven to eight at the beginning, he should be around ten. I'm a little concerned that your grandpa that <laughs> your grandpa's taking you to the beach as soon as you change into your swimsuit right now. But I'm also concerned that you have your face stuck into this happy box. If my context clues are right, then Mr. Facade practically gave everyone in Tasmeli a happy box. And if that's the case, that is really bad. Because from the looks of it, it looks like not able was he able to industrialize and modernize Tasmeli, which in and of itself isn't a bad thing. But you have all these poor crying motherfuckers everywhere! And we got a frog over here! Do I need something? Yes, my good sir, I would like to save. Alright, what are you up here? Lightning struck Reggie's tent. That's where he gets that's what he gets for not having a happy box. There's no shot. Reggie doesn't have a happy box. We don't have a happy box. Lightning strikes both of our places. Are you artificially striking everyone's place with lightning if they don't have a happy box? What are you doing here, you cheap bastard? He's ignoring you. Yeah, he knows what's up with Lucas. Mapson, my good man, please don't tell me you've gone into the into the happy box facade. We can talk about non-map stuff too, you know. Old man Wes is definitely going to go bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. Hey, yo, look at that! Look at Fuel! He also had the glow up. <laughs> look at look at my two boys over here. I love helping people out. Aw, that's great, Fuel. Damn. So all the children here in Tazmilly had a glow up. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey there, Lucas. I hear your dad's still hiking up in the mountains looking for Klaus. You should really tell him yourself that it's about time he gave up already. No! No! That's a horrible idea! We, You shouldn't just forget about leaving Klaus behind. What kind of idea is that? He's my brother! He's my twin brother! What the fuck? It's polished and sparkling. Ooh la la. This is a fine mighty looking car you got over here. Is there anyone here who put some money in this thing? Because I just did anyway. What's this? If you have any extra money, please put it in here. From your trustworthy and benevolent mayor pusher. Mayor? We have a mayor here? Oh, that guy. I don't even recall... I don't even recall him seeing that much in uh, back in Tasmania three years ago. Oh, Lucas. Your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning, I must say. Do you still intend to live in it after all the fires and scorching and whatnot? I must admit, it's a real downer on Tasmilly Village's image. Oh, yes, yes. Your maternal grandfather has moved into the new and shiny retirement home. Where is it? Across the way. Uh, that away. I I'm still convinced that just because I don't have a happy box, there there's all. That's the reason why all this lightning is blasting towards my house. I'm convinced. Oh, you even got a fancy new. Looks like a concrete bridge. Wonder what old man Wes is up to. Oh. What is this? 
Special nursing home for senior citizens. Old man's paradise. This isn't old man Wes's home. Or is it? Jeez, what are all these weird people doing here? Where's old man Wes? Wow! <laughs> you call this a senior citizen home? And yet your rooms look like this? My gee, this looks like a prison! Just what are you cooking over here? And it looks like shit! Look, there's cracks everywhere, there's fucking holes everywhere. There's even this big ass puddle over here. What the fuck? Or is this really how you want to treat the elderly? Aw, oh, damn. Oh, Really? No one comes to visit you? I'm sorry, what? 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 A strange word appeared to me in a dream. Ribbon candy, what could that mean? Dude, what the fuck is up with Mike over here? His grandkids don't visit him and... Oh shit, he's living in this shithole. Old Man Wes! What the hell happened here? That's a fancy shirt you have. Hey, thanks, Dove. That facade guy has screwed everything up in every way possible. What is he trying to do with this village? Dog, why do you, why do you have the happy box? Excuse me? Excuse me? Old Man Wes? Why do you have a happy box with you? What the fuck? This is supposed to be your house! It's supposed to be you and Duster's house! Why? What happened to it? What the hell? Alec! Oh, Lucas! How you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on! One million times? Dude, I'm telling you, it's a conspiracy theory out there. This is like on the same level as like Pizzagate. Like, <laughs> there, there's no shot that that these pink motherfuckers, along with Facade, are shooting lightning at everyone's houses who doesn't have a happy box. Think about it. Alec would not have one. We don't have one. Look, here in uh, Tasmania, me and Lucas Flint, we, we, we don't have one. And if I remember correctly, I think they said Reggie had one, so if I go to his house, his his house, his crib will probably be all fucked up. Ribbit, ribbit, shave your game, shunny. Yes, I will, old man Shrog. Thank you very much. You take care of yourself now. Don't you worry one bit. I may be old. I'm still good at shaving as ever. Hey, hats off to you. Big W's, W's all around. Still, like, come on, could we at least invest in something a little bit more decent? Anyways, does this still work? Yes, it does. Would you look at that? Even after three years, they still haven't gotten rid of that present. Oh, wow. I keep getting hit by lightning. Did someone find out I peed on the happy box or something? I'm telling you, people who don't like the happy box are just getting struck by lightning left and right. I found- I found it out. I found it out, everybody. I found it out. Time really flies. It's almost been half a year since old Scamp passed away. Damn. I get the feeling it's rare for Scamps like him to be e so easily forgotten. So in that sense, he's a great Scamp. I forgot his name, which makes me feel really bad, but damn. He's passed away. Alright, so this is supposed to be the training facility? What is this? Tasmanian training facility. Yeah, this is supposedly the old, the old farm that Butch had, but now it's the training facility. This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? Uh, I don't know. I ain't slacking off. I just collapsed from sunstroke. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> that's that's what you don't want to do. No sunstroke. Oh, would you look at that? You guys are getting information. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Oh, are you are you waiting for me? <laughs> Aww. What's your guy's problem? You look like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. I'm not. I'm just curious. Oh, you guys want to join our army too? You gotta go eat lots and lots until you're nice and big first. Oh, uh, can we change the music or something? The marching song seems to be coming from this cassette player. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, you know, I just wanted to be one of y'all. Actually, no, no. What am I saying? I don't want to be one of y'all. Hell no! Look what you did to my village! Dangerous. Dangerous. What the hell happened here in Tasmeli, man? He seems to be captivated by the happy box. I'm telling you guys, this happy box is something, is some hypnotizing weird ass thing or whatnot. It's, it, it's messing with our minds. It's like 5G, all right? Okay, what do we have over here? Patches, patches. Oh no! Reggie! <laughs> the lightning used to be Reggie's friend. But now this lightning is bad to Reggie. Come on, dude! Oh my god. I've already blabbered enough about my conspiracy theory. But yeah, once again, if you don't have a happy box, you're gonna get fucked over. You heard a reggae rhythm. What the hell? Where's this supposed to be? Ah. Uh, what, was that it? Was that all this present was? A fucking reggae rhythm? Look, I'm- I'm- I don't- I don't hate reggae. I, I actually like reggae, but, you know, can- can I have something better? Wanted, my generation. It appears to be an old concert poster put up by someone. But who? Some moron by the name of Flint busted the lock on this door. So now I have to stand here like this to hold it shut. It's been three years. Can you guys, you guys were able to invest and afford everything in the village, but you cannot invest on a new door? What? Come on now. And at least have a little bit of decency. Notice, beware of snakes. Please refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. <laughs> what are these boots doing here? This appears to be a pig's mask shoes. What's it doing there? What the pig doing? What the pig doing? Oink. When I just lie here like this, I can forget about all the bad things in life. One eternity later. Yeah, I should have turned back when I had the chance. I just wanted to hear. I just wanted to see if she had anything interesting to say, but lo and behold, she didn't. I'm sorry, Lucas. Oh my god, you! You're the bitch from the last game, aren't you? I've had it with you. What are you, what are you doing here? Are you just gonna gang up on me? A couple on the other bench has really been lovey, lovey, dovey, dovey for a while now. But they just won't leave. I wonder what their deal is. Amor, that's love. Love, that's amor. Oh man, I, I wish, you know, I wish I could be uh, on the bench being all lovey, dovey and shit. Uh, but if, unfortunately, I can't. That's the sad part of life. Out taking your dog for a walk. You must really think you're someone special. <laughs> Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know? Jesus, child labor in my Tasmili. Everything's gone to shit. Oh, Lucas, do you still not have a happy box at home? No, I do not. And that is the reason why I keep getting struck by lightning. It's these pork rind motherfuckers that are doing this, I tell you. I don't need a happy box to be happy. I'm Lucas, I have Boney, and I have my dad. I am as happy as I could ever be. 
let's not talk about the fact that I also lost my mother and my twin brother three years ago, but, you know, I'm, I'm just vibing over here, you know? What is this? What is this? Bronson? Jackie? Come now, Jackie. Get real. It can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. What is going on here? Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Hello. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titaboo past the factory, and the bass player there kinda looks like Duster. Jackie here is convinced that he's Duster. But he looks just like him! I really think we should tell Old Man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, but we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyway, it's time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. It took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. Well, I'll see you, Lucas. Tell Flynn I say hi. Hmm, so this Club Tidabu may have somebody who looks like Duster. That also means that... Can I really even go up north? Oh, wait, no, I can't. I just have to go left. Yeah, what the hell? We have a train in Tasmili? What about you, my J? What are you going to say? The train won't be coming for a while. But what, everyone? all, Almost all the men over here work in the factory or something like that? Jackie, Bronson, who else? Who else? I've only heard the rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? You really you really do need to eat, you know? You're still young. I mean, I guess, but like, Lucas looks fine. He looks healthy. I got some beef jerky. Let's go. Speaking of food. Yeah, I, I don't need a I don't need like eat eat eat. Tasmili Central Message Board. Read it. What do we have over here? I say we remodel the old ruins of Osohe Castle and turn it into a Tasmili Resort facility. Anonymous. Read another? Uh, sure. If you want to ride the train, go to the station. You can ride the train if you go to the station. The train speeds along, along speeds the train. Let's go, go, go to the factory on the train. Train station attendance. Read another? Sure. Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's what I think, from a popular citizen. Oh, screw you! Happy boxes are the greatest, not to develop even bigger screens. Abbott and Abby. Uh, no. I want to be a pig mask too. How can I be one? I know I can be a good one. Please let me be a pig mask. Please don't tell me that was fuel. Also, I thought omelets is good. Well, goodbye. Fried pork kid. Okay. After a hard day's work, there's only one thing to do. Spend every last DP you own at Club Tidaboo. Club Tidaboo is a paradise of music and other stuff too. Come see the DCMC in concert live. What else? I have sand in my shoes and I don't know what to do. Holy shit. Somebody do something. Oh, you're on your own for that, Chief. Why not consider working at the retirement home? Veterans of life are waiting for your kindness. But please, stop quitting one after the other. <laughs> the retirement home director. Damn, how many of these do we have? Who in the world is Letter? Try as hard as I might, I just can't remember anything about him. It's keeping me up at night. Well, Letter was the tall guy. The really tall guy. Where is he, actually? We've been slowly running out of friends at the castle lately. People of Tasmili, please pass away at a faster pace if you would be so kind. Thanks. Anonymous ghost. Alright, what else? Notice. Scamp has died. That is all. Aw, come on. Select cheerful police officers wanted. Start a new career as an officer of the Tasmili police force. Do well, and you can even make some pig mask friends. Pusher, the Tasmili Police Department. Mayor Pusher, I believe. Watch out for the chimeras. 
Strange animals known as chimeras seem to be increasing in number lately. They are dangerous. Be careful of them from a brave person. How many of these do we have? Show courtesy to Mr. Fasar. Hey, fuck him! There are many ignorant people who complain about him. I think that is a very bad thing to do. Tazmeli is nothing without Mr. Fasad. Please take this to heart. Isaac? What? Dude, you're kidding me. Isaac, what are you smoking? What are you actually smoking? To the Blue News, DCMC to debut a new song soon. Desperado, Reckless. Crash, powerful, mumbo, sensational, combo, guys, no one can stop the DCMC's momentum now. Oh, we finally, we finally made it to the end of everything that the message board has. Finally. I am very offended that Isaac said that there is no Tasmania without facade, because... Newsflash, bucko! Three years ago, there was 100% of Tazmili that was doing fine without facade. Alright, looks like the graveyard still looks the same. Where's Nippolite? Is oh my god, Nippolite! Let me guess, you're gonna say you don't have a happy box either. Oh, Lucas! Your old man's always visiting Hanawa's grave. Or Mr. Nippolite. Apparently, lightning struck his house 14 times over the course of three years. The remnants of my humble abode. No tourists! I'm telling you, it's been mercilessly destroyed. Nippolite, I'm telling you, are you going to tell me that you didn't have a happy box? Just tell me. I'm not going to be angry or anything like that. I just want to know so I can validate my conspiracy theory. Also, can I go in here? No, I cannot. This appears to be a new type of grave. Bro, I know Facade has his, his weird little laboratory down there. Come on now. Oh, Dad! Flint! Um, how's it going? Oh, Lucas. It's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Okay. Okay. Been a while, you should go talk. Mom, please tell me what to do here. Where are all these bad guys in Taz Millie? Please. Pony, Mom, Klaus. This was three years ago, damn it. Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but is, Kla is Klaus actually dead? I mean, the last time we saw him, he looked pretty dead to me. He could still be out there, but fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Pe Apparently, we still haven't found his body, so <laughs> one day we're going to find it. Don't worry. Wife of Flint, mother of the twins, Klaus and Lucas, daughter of Alec, made a beautiful Hanawa. Rest in peace here for all time. Bye, Mom. I'll talk with you later. Trust me. I'll be back. I'm curious as to where Flint went and now. Where did Flint go? But what I'm more curious is what is up with Osohe. Sketch of the area. Ah, yes. the No, I already saw it. Drawbridge. Oh, all the crops are gone now. My humble little omelet patch. Where are all the crops? Potato tato. Are the wall staples still here? Wall staples are still here. Everything seems fine. If I go, can I still go? I can. As Lucas, nonetheless. Aw, oh, there goes the ghost bazaar. And nothing is left behind. No way. Oh, you're kidding me. A stupid run milk is still here. There's no reason for me to be here in Osohe. I'm just curious. There's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, I can't imagine there being such a thing as artificial lightning. Dog, there's PK Thunder, which is basically lightning. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if there is such a thing called artificial lightning because whatever it is It's attacking my house Please research harder in order to read the sign you had to trample on the flowers at your feet Did you even realize that though the person who placed this sign here is really the one to blame? Oh Wait, that's me. Sorry about that. Please throw away all your empty cans in the room. I, I mean, well, in order for me to get here, I needed to stomp on the flowers as well, so, eh. Also, does this seem smaller? I don't know why. This looks smaller. I don't remember it being small. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. Uh, excuse me? What was that supposed to mean? Okay, what do we have over here? Ugh, oh, facade. Jerk what? Facade! Stop it! Quit ruining this town any more than you already have. There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant. Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs. Well, hello there, Mr. West. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, Happiness will only escape you, by which I mean your hair in this case. <laughs> Old man Wes is going bald. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Cease this violence! I'm no bug, I'm an old man! Damn, the absolute disrespect on old man Wes. Fucking facade. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already. So you can be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Yeah, well, you know what, Facade? Your day can go suck it! I am not putting that happy box anywhere near my house! Do you hear me? I will never do it! Not in a million years! Excuse me, what am I seeing? What is this snake with a chicken head? A slither hen suddenly attacked. What am I seeing? What? the hell happened here? Uh, what happened with this forest? Did you just put in some like fucking nuclear waste on there everywhere? Why is there a chicken? Why are there snakes and hens? With hen heads? What the hell? Alright, Isaac. Where are you? You're not even here. You and your happy box can go suck it. You can go suck a big one. If I could... Take your happy box right now, I do it, and I throw it into that hot spring. Make sure to smash it up everywhere first. God damn it, Isaac. Why did you have to give in? Why? Excuse me? What do we have here? A really flying mouse. I'm telling you, there is something up with this. With this entire forest. Shit, and I, and I still can't combo to save my life. Oh lord, L lightning, lightning, lightning. It looks like lighter and fuel shackers. Sort of back to normal. Except with all the lightning. Lighter, what's good my G? I haven't seen old Flint lately. How's he doing? Is he visiting her grave again? Yeah, you know, you always gotta pay your respect to mother and shit like that. <laughs> Cool. Squeak, squeak, squeak. This house I'm secretly living in got blasted by lightning. Well, yeah, I, I, I can tell. You know what else I can tell? There's no happy box in this in this little abode of yours, lighter. Hmm. There's not a happy box nearby, and yet there's a lightning going everywhere. I wonder why. Yo, what is that? What is that? Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, come on now. Are you joking me? I know I really didn't do much this episode, but I just kind of wanted to see what Tasmili Village was like 
three years in the future, I still have no clue what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to assume that Chapter 4 says it's Club Titaboo, so I'm going to assume I have to go there. I'm going to assume that, I don't know, maybe I'll actually find Duster there, considering what Jackie said and whatnot. I don't know, and you know what? I actually don't have the time <laughs> to look through it right now. So, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Mori, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.